Hi guys, I'm Marina. And I'm Jonathan. And today we are going to talk about IT vocabulary. Ah, well, I've got 30 years of IT, so where should we start? I think that we should start uh, from QA engineering. Ooh, okay. Why QA? Well, because recently I noticed that there are a lot of people who are interested in this uh, job and there are a lot of people who are trying to be QA engineers. That is true. Okay, so where do you want to begin? Uh, first of all, I think it's nice to know who is a QA engineer. Mm. Okay, well, uh, let's start with QA. Uh, QA actually means quality assurance, which is basically uh, making sure that the product that you're going to put out there in front of users has good enough quality. Hey, let's say I'm a QA engineer. What does my day look like? Ah, uh, well, so you wake up in the morning. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you, you put on clothes, hopefully. I uh, hope so. Yes, and, and then you go into the office. And, uh, but most of your day is going to be uh, dealing with a list of test cases that you have to run that day. Test cases. What is test case? Okay, so a test case is, um, it, it describes one particular test that you have to make, right? Mm -hmm. You can have a, a lot of them. And uh, a test case really involves two things. The first is, the specific steps you have to go through. Okay. Test. And so that could be things like uh, click on this button, then enter your name, then click on submit, right? Could okay. be a, a list of things like that. And it that comes with the environment in which you have to run that test. And so that could be things like you have to use a Chrome browser on an iPhone 12 uh, to do this test. Uh huh. Okay. And what am I looking for during the test? Well, you're, you're trying to create an error. You're trying to get the system to behave badly. So um, the, the, the test cases will each say, here's what should happen. And if you don't see that, then you found a bug. A bug? What is a bug? Why such a funny word? <laughs> Well, a, a bug is what we call an error. And the reason we call it a bug is because back in the 1800s, when computers were first invented, uh, they were mechanical. And insects used to get inside and they would kind of break the machine. And so uh, that would cause errors in how the machine would function. And so they started calling errors up. Oh, there's a bug in the system. Oh, it's really, really very interesting and fun information. Yeah. And uh, when I found a bug, what should I do with this bug? Ah, okay. So when you find a bug, you open a bug report. Okay. And a bug report contains a description of what you found. It should include evidence like screenshots and other things. Um, but most importantly, this is going to end up in the hands of a programmer who's going to try and fix the bug. So you need to give him steps to reproduce. Steps to reproduce. Mm -hmm. What are they, those steps? Well, normally if you simply tell a programmer, ah, this didn't work, and here's some screenshots to prove that it didn't work, he'll go try it himself, and it'll probably work for him because he won't do exactly what you did, right? Okay. And so steps to reproduce are, it's like a script where you say, okay, first do this, then do that, then do that, then do that, bang, the error should happen. Right? Uh -huh. And so Is... you should be able to follow your recipe and see the same thing. Okay, I think I understand. And is there anything else uh, in this report, in the, in the bug report? Yeah. You, you, the, the QA engineer has to say how severe the bug is and what priority it should have. Severe. So the severity, yeah, so the severity and the priority. 
Okay, I do not know this term, severity. Could you please talk about it? Sure, so severity is how big an effect this, this bug has on the user and on the system. Just how damaging is it? And it's usually sort of a, a rating from one to five, where a one, a severity one, is extremely bad, and a severity five is really just kind of annoying. Uh -huh. uh, let, let me see. So when it is one, it's uh, kind of like system doesn't work at all, and I cannot use the application, right? Yeah. So uh -huh. it could be anything from... Uh, the system crashes and the whole thing just goes Poof. um or it could be i can't log in okay well if you can't log in nothing is usable right so anytime the system is unusable it's it's a level one severity a level two would be something like um i can log in and the the, the system is up and running but there's this one feature that absolutely does not work um like i cannot add something to this list at all. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. a severity, yeah, a severity three would be, well, I can add it to the list, but first I have to refresh the screen or I've got to do some other thing and, and I can kind of use the feature, but not, but it's still difficult. Um, a severity four would be, I can use the feature and it works properly, but it's annoying in the way that it works. Um, like it takes me longer than it should or something like that. And then um, a severity five means you spelled something wrong or the color is not right or some other cosmetic thing is, is not correct. Okay. And then what is the difference between severity and priority? Mm. So priority is about how important fixing this bug is to the end user or to the company. So I'll give you an example. If... Um, but let's say that you misspelled something. Okay, that's uh -huh. a severity five, right? Not a big impact. But maybe the thing that you misspelled is a critical message that um, explains to them that they cannot do something, that, they're, that they, you know, please don't touch this. And uh, okay. they misspelled it. And so they end up touching something and that's bad. So it could be something really cosmetic. You got the colors wrong, but the colors have s serious meaning. Um, so severity five, priority one, got to fix that right away. Okay, got it. So it looks like that's it for today. Yeah, well, we've covered a lot of terms. Um, so we've talked about QA, we've talked about mm -hmm. test cases, bugs, bug reports, steps to reproduce, severity, priority. <sighs> it's, it's a lot. Uh, is it enough? Uh, it's it's never enough. There's always more. <laughs> there's, there's a whole lot of other terms we haven't covered, but I think this is enough for today. Okay, then it means that we can come back with new list of terms in the future, right? Yes, definitely. Okay, then see you next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. And now, let's review. QA, quality assurance. Test case, a description of a test that must be made, including the specific steps that have to be taken and the environment in which the test should be made. Bug, an error that has been found in the system. Bug report, a description of the bug that was found, including any evidence. Steps to reproduce. The specific steps that a programmer or anyone else should take in order to see the same bug that the QA engineer found. Severity. A scale of one to five that describes the amount of damage that the bug does to the system or to the user. Priority. A scale of 1 to 5 that describes how important it is to fix this bug. And that's it for today.